A turbo manifold is one of the most important parts of your turbo setup, so it's critical to use the right materials and take the time to design and fabricate it properly. This is Aaron Ware here again, and in this episode of Vibrant Performance TV, I will be talking about material selection and preparation for building your turbo manifold. Okay, let's talk about material and material prep. I have here a bunch of weld L's, some flanges, some filler rod, a collector, and some piping. And these are the pieces that you're going to use to put your manifold together. Now, when you get these raw materials, they are raw, so they do they may need a little bit of cleanup. With the weld L's, what I like to do is I like to take a stainless steel wire wheel and clean these up. Uh, don't use a mild steel or a brass coated uh, wheel because it will embed um, material into the surface of the pipe. You're gonna end up with a rusty manifold. So clean it all and then you're ready to start tacking, welding stuff together. What I'll do with the collector is I'll break apart these tack welds, break it into four individual components and I will put a bevel around each of these so that I have a nice bevel that's going to match the bevel on our weld L's as well. So you have a nice fillet to, to put your filler rod into when you weld it together. I'll also wire brush these as well um, and then I will tack it back together and match it up with my turbo inlet flange. I'll go over some details with the turbo inlet flange and mating the, the collector to the flange um, because there's a little bit of massaging you have to do to get that uh, shape sometimes to match the flange exactly the way you want it. So for this turbo manifold, I'm going with a 304 Schedule 10 weld L's piping and a 304 Schedule 10 uh, collector as well. And for flanges, I'm going with half inch mild steel inlet and head flange and a 304 stainless wastegate flange. Now the reason I'm going with mild steel on the head flange and the turbo inlet flange um, is just personal preference. A lot of guys like to go with uh, 304 head flange, inlet flange. It's completely up to you. It's also sometimes has to do with budget. Uh, uh, mild steel flanges are a little bit cheaper than stainless flanges, but they will get a, a bit of surface rust on them. My personal preference, yes, I like the half inch thick flanges just because they're a little bit thicker than the 38 stainless. Half inch thick mild steel uh, flanges tend to warp a little less when you weld them. You can weld stainless to it if you use the proper filler. 309L is what I use to uh, join stainless to mild steel. When I'm going stainless to stainless, I go with the 308 filler. Okay, so, so once I have all my material cleaned and prepped and ready to weld, uh, I'm gonna start with the collector first. Now, the reason I weld the collector first is it's much easier to weld this like this than when it's all together like that. So that's the, really the biggest reason why I weld the collector first. I'll weld it fully and I'll weld it to the, to the inlet flange as well. So when I, when I weld the, the collector to the inlet flange, I have a, a heat sink plate that I will bolt this down to that's much thicker than the inlet flange itself so that when I weld it, it's gonna help prevent it from wanting to warp on me. So. Your collector is the most critical part of the turbo manifold, which in itself is a very important part of your turbo setup. What makes this so important is it's going to see the highest degree of heat and pressure and stress of the entire manifold. Um, all the exhaust is being forced into a small space, so that creates a lot of heat and it creates a lot of back pressure in this piece. Be sure to join me in the next episode of Vibrant Performance TV where I am going to be welding the collector together, discussing wastegate placement and its importance on the manifold of the Turbo Rear Wheel Drive CRX.